resign now. Supreme Court under you is compromised. PDP tells CJN Tanko. PDP has made official statement over sacking of Emeka Iyedioha as Imo governor. Supreme Court had on Tuesday, January 14, sacked Iyedioha and affirmed Uzodima of APC as the elected governor of the state. Uche Secundus, the PDP National Chairman on Tuesday, after the neck of the party, alleged the Supreme Court under CJN Tanko has been compromised. Apparently dissatisfied with the way Supreme Court sacked Emeka Yedioha as the governor of Imo State, the People Democratic Party, PDP, has called for immediate review and reversal of the decision of the Apex Court. Premium Times reports that the party made this known on Thursday, January 16, at a press conference at its secretariat in Abuja. Biafra broadcast gathered that while addressing journalists, the party's national chairman, Uche Secundus, said the reversal would be in the interest of justice. The Supreme Court had on Tuesday, January 14, nullified the election of Iyedioha as the governor of the state. The Apex Court declared Hope Uzodema of the All Progressive Congress, APC, as the winner of the March 9 governorship election in the state. It would, however, be recalled that Uzodema originally came forth in the election while Uche Mosu of the Action Alliance, AA, and Efanye Ararume of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, APGA, came second and third, respectively. The seven-member panel of the Supreme Court, led by Chief Justice Tanku Mohammed, gave the unanimous decision on Tuesday, 14 January, in Abuja. Delivering the position of the National Working Committee, NWC, Secondo said, after a thorough examination of all the issues relating to what he described as miscarriage of justice by the Supreme Court, the party resolved that the Apex Court as presently constituted under Justice Tanku, has been heavily compromised. He alleged that the Apex Court is now annexed to executive ignoble agenda of APC-led federal government against the Nigerian people. That the judgment of the Supreme Court voiding the lawful election of Honorable Emeka Iyedua, who scored 276,404 votes and awarding fictitious votes to declare Hope Uzodema of the APC, who scored 96,458 votes as governor of Imo State, is highly irrational, unfounded, a provocative product of executive manipulation and a recipe for crisis we shall not be allowed to stand. With a verdict, the Supreme Court executed a coup against the PDP and the people of Imo State as well as other Nigerians, and such must not be allowed to have a place in our democracy. Secondus further stated that the Chief Justice must provide Nigerians with answers to some pertinent questions. He said the Supreme Court, in a host of cases, the latest and most celebrated being Atiku versus Buhari and Ors consistently decided that for a petitioner to succeed in an allegation of infraction of any provision of the Electoral Act, especially one complaining about malpractice, as in this case, wrongly exclusion of votes, the petitioner must call witnesses pulling units by pulling units. The question is, how many witnesses did Uzodima APC call from the 388 polling units from where the Supreme Court allocated votes to him? Secondus asked. He further stated that the so-called results from the 388 polling units were rightfully rejected in line with the several decisions of the Supreme Court by the Tribunal and Court of Appeal as it was merely dumped on the Tribunal in Ghana Must Go Back by a policeman 
who had no mandate of the police to testify at the tribunal. The tribunal did not even open the Ghana Must Go bags, as there was no basis to do so. It is one of the great wonders of the world how the Supreme Court opened the bag, counted the results, and added them to only the APC candidates, the statement read in part. Meanwhile, Biafra Brokers had previously reported that the leaders of PDP summoned an emergency National Executive Council NEC meeting 24 hours after the removal of ex Imo state governor Emeka Iyedioha by Supreme Court. However, it might also interest you to note 10 important things about Imo governor-elect Hope Uzodema. Supreme Court had on Tuesday, January 14, declared Hope Uzodema as the authentic governor of Imo state. The former occupier of the seat, Emeka Yedioha, was sacked by the Apex Court. Before his eventual declaration on Tuesday, Uzodema came forth during the March 9, 2019 governorship election held in the state. The sacking of the former deputy speaker of the House of Representatives, Emeka Yedioha, as the governor of Imo State by the Supreme Court is no longer news. But what remains a source of wonder for most Nigerians is how the candidate of All Progressives Congress, APC, and Imo Governor-elect, Hope Uzodema, finally won the battle after he had lost a tribunal and court of appeal. Before the judgment of the Supreme Court on Tuesday, January 14, the fairy Catholic priest of Enugu Diocese, A.G.K. Mbaka, had sent a jitre to the camp of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the state when he prophesied on the eve of January 1st that Iedioha would be sacked and that Uzodima would become the governor of the state. Mbaka had prophesied, in Imo state there is hope, 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 hope in Imo state, a new leadership that will break barriers and there will be joy in the land of Imo. Lift your candles as I bless Hope Uzodema and I empower him to spiritually take over. How? I do not know. Biafra Broadcast reports that in what seems like a miracle, the apex court of the land declared Uzodema a former senator who represented Imo West as the duly elected governor of Imo State. The court held the results from 388 polling units were wrongly excluded from courts ascribed to Uzodima and APC, adding that the first appellant, Uzodima, holds the majority of lawful votes cast. It will be recalled that Uzodima faced a fierce struggle before he was able to pick the governorship tickets of the APC. This was not unconnected to the fact that the immediate past governor of the state, Rochas Okorocha, had wanted to install his son-in-law, Uche Wonsu, as successor, but this led to rancor in the party at the state level. When the primary pool was held in October 2018, both Uzodima and Wonsu were declared winners of the election in parallel exercises. But the former senator's name was sent to the Electoral Commission as the party standard bearer by the Oshomole-led national executive of the party. Biafra broadcast hereby highlights 10 important things to know about the new governor of Imo State, Hope Uzodema. Number one, Senator Hope Uzodema picked the APC ticket seven months after he left the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Number two, Uzodema came forth behind Emeka Iyedioha, PDP, Wosu Action Alliance, and Ifanye Alarome, All Progressive Grand Alliance, APGA. Number three, while Iyedioha pulled 273,404 votes, Wosu Alarome and Uzodema scored 190,364 votes, 114,676 votes, and 96,458 votes, respectively. Uzodima challenged the victory of Iyedioha up to the Apex Court and won. Number four, 
Uzodema became prominent in Imo politics in the early 2000s as a PDP member. In 2003, he ran for governor of the state on the ticket of Alliance for Democracy, AD, but he did not win. Number five, he returned to the PDP and in 2006 sought the ticket of the party to contest the governorship election again, but lost at primary pool to Alarume. Number six, Uzodema, who was later appointed a PDP Board of Trustees member, was first elected into the Senate in 2011. He was re-elected in 2015. Number seven, before the 2000s, Uzodema was the youth leader of the Defunct National Party of Nigeria, MPN, in Imo, in the Second Republic. He was also a prominent member of the now defunct United Nigeria Congress Party, UNCP. Number eight, he also has been involved in the oil and gas sector through SMIEC, Chemical Engineering and Construction Company Limited. His company, which he used to execute many projects for the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC. Number nine, he obtained his secondary school certificate from Umbidi Secondary School, Olo West, in 1982. And number 10, Uzodima has a bachelor's degree in international studies and a diploma in transport studies. He is also a recipient of an honorary doctorate degree from Imo State University. Meanwhile, Biafra Brokers had previously reported that the PDP was at a loss concerning the ruling of the Supreme Court, which on Tuesday, January 14, dismissed the victory of Emeka Iyedioha as governor of Imo State. Dear viewers, you can share your opinions about this post right there at the comment section. If you are visiting us for the first time, please kindly click on the red subscribe button. Also turn on the bell icon to always be the first to get a notification anytime we upload a new video. Thank you. See you next time.